So even though we haven't finished our project yet, we can still share this with our users and get their feedback and update the app whenever we want. This is the great thing about Clyde apps. They live on the web, they work across any device. So whenever you need to make an update to it, you just make a small tweak in Glide and those changes will populate to your users. So the way that we manage all of this is up in the publishing section. If you haven't published your app, you want to choose a temporary URL here so that uh, people can use it. You can always change this later to be a custom URL and things like that. For now, I'm just going to go with this temporary URL that, that Glide has, uh, has suggested for us. And we can see here that our page will be private to the users in our users table. Now, if we click on our users table, this is going to remind us what we looked at right at the beginning of this tutorial, this table that Glide added in the beginning. The users table is a really important table where you can manage who has access to your Glide project and also more deeper permissions that you might control with roles. So let's say I'm an admin and I want to add a new person, right? I'm going to add a new person called um, Jenny, and uh, they are going to be Jenny at GlideApps.com, and they don't have a photo yet. By the way, if you're ever building out projects, you can always use a stock image. So this comes from Unsplash. So I'm going to put a person, I'm going to search for a person in there, um, and we're going to see what comes back, and we're going to put just a really smiley lady there. Great. Okay, cool. So we're going to say that Jenny is a user. So she has the role of user, I have the role of admin, and we can use these roles later on to control certain things. But for now, we're going to go back to that publishing menu, and we're going to publish this app. And what this means is basically only me and Jenny are going to have access to this app. Even if someone else takes this link, finds it somehow, they're not going to be able to log into our project. So let's hit publish. So now that our app is public, it's going to be live at this link, continually updating, but only the people in the users table will be able to access it. But we can invite new people here. They'll get a nice welcome intro email and they'll be added to the users table. We can also change the privacy settings, the publishing settings, add a custom domain if we want. But all of those settings will always live in your settings area of your app. And here you can change the icon, the appearance, the privacy settings, add those integrations we looked at earlier and many other things. So well done, you made it all the way through the introduction to Glide. We went from starting an app completely from scratch all the way through to having it on our phone or our computer. The next part of this tutorial is totally optional, but it includes two bonuses of things that we've found are really powerful for helping users get a handle on Glide and making apps that are specific to them and their business. That is Relations and Glide AI. So stick around to learn those. If not, we'll catch you in the community forum and we'll see you soon.